This is the demo video for the verification of network code programs. Today we will verify a simple network code program with a ping pong setup. So we have two nodes that are just bouncing messages between each other. So if I were to run this code through our compiler, the compiler will generate two files, a UPL model file and an UPL properties file. So if I were to open up the UPL model in UPL, we see that the compiler has generated a model for the sender node in our ping pong setup and the receiver node in our ping pong setup. And it's also generated a list of properties that we can verify for. So if I were to go ahead and verify these properties, uh, right now they're all being satisfied. However, going back to the network code program, if I were to say comment out this destroy instruction, so now we have a case where we create a message, we send it, but then we're not destroying it properly. So if I were to verify this code again, we see that this property here actually fails because we are not destroying that message properly. Now another thing that our tool can detect is when you have unreachable code. So here in these two instructions, the future instruction sets up a time trigger that uh, expires in 1000 time units and then the halt instruction puts us in the halting state. So when we halt, we wait until that time trigger wakes us up and then we go to line 12. So if I were to insert an instruction at this location, say uh, receive instruction, it's actually unreachable because we will halt and then when we wake up from the halt we we'll actually jump to line 12 so this instruction will never be executed. So if I try to run this through the compiler it's actually going to complain and it's going to say instruction on line 23 is unreachable and that's this instruction right here. This is line 23. So now I will demonstrate how the verification tool is able to um, detect if a message cannot meet its deadline. So in the send instruction, the third parameter is the deadline. So here we specify that the message has to be received within uh, 2100 ticks. That's because we have each slot is 1000 ticks and we expect the message to be received uh, two slots later and then we just added 100 ticks of slack. However, if I were to say remove the all the slack that we have, we'll see that we're actually not able to meet this tighter deadline. So here this property fails, so, so it's able to detect that we're not able to meet that deadline. Finally, the last feature that we'll show in this demo is um, to be able to show that the tool can detect when you have a potential deadlock. So again, we have a future and then the halt instruction uh, here. So here the future instruction sets up a time trigger uh, that expires 35 time units later and then it halts. So if I were to say insert a bunch of create and destroy instructions in between the future and the halt instruction so like so this will actually lead to a deadlock because what's going to happen is here in the future instruction we set up this time trigger to expire in 35 time units 
then we go ahead and we destroy this or we execute this string of create and destroy instructions but these instructions don't execute instantaneously so what's going to happen is um, before we reach that halt instruction we're, uh, 35 time units is already go already going to have passed so we're going to have that time trigger expire somewhere here and then we're going to go into this halt state but then by then the, there won't be a time trigger to wake us up so we're actually going to end up with a deadlock and the the verification tool is actually smart enough to detect this so here the first condition um, it's able to detect that we will have a potential deadlock. So that concludes this demo of the verification.